hoping for that. But on the other note, we gotta go clean my room. Because that's number one. So, before we get started, a bedroom is an important thing to, a, to someone's life because it's where you rest, and rest is the most important part about life, or as far as my life, um, health and stuff goes. Uh, I used to get sick all the time. You guys remember I get sick all the time. It's because I would uh, literally never stop going, ever. People would be like, hey, how do you get so much stuff done? Do you not sleep? And I'd be like, no. What do you think I am, an idiot? Um, and I got sick all the time because of it. Um, so, uh, basically I would go real hard and then fly out on the weekend and then come back and just keep going hard. Hard meaning just diligent working and whatnot, not like partying hard or anything. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I kind of stopped, I started like taking days of rest and stuff. I think I've talked about that before. And now my health's all on point. So, as far as health meaning not getting sick. Um, but it's important to keep your little domain, your bedroom, the place where you sleep, um, clean and tidy. Because it's the last thing you see when you go to bed, and it's the first thing you see when you wake up. So it instantly pushes, like, the final impression and the first impression on each day. So I think it's very important to have your room clean. Um, mine's been getting out of hand for a few reasons, uh, mainly just because, uh, I've been lazy. I've had enough time to clean my room millions of times. It's just that I have a when I when I wake up in the morning, I want to wear a, ja a, a different jacket because I have a ton of jackets, and then we can see how I have to wear a jacket. Sometimes even two, which gives you a, a big deal of options. So a lot of times, I'll take off all my jackets off the clothing hanger, and then I'll try them on, and then I'll throw them off. And when I take them off, I really want to go get coffee or something, so I'm like in a rush, like a mental rush almost. I gotta chill out most of the time. Um, and then I'll. Just throw it on the floor until I find something that I want to wear, and then I wear it out. And then instead of going back to, like, if I see something, I don't know. Basically, it ends up like looking like this. And when you're you have all your jackets on the floor, you start to leave things on the floor that are not jackets, like socks, which is annoying. Like this shouldn't be on the floor. This is a nice shirt. Um, and I have a lot of things that are up here that should be downstairs, which is really annoying. Um, like these bags. I think this is from Urban Outfitters, but you can use that to go grocery shopping because you can't buy bags anymore in Seattle. You have to, you have to actually buy them. They don't just give it to me anymore. And I have a bunch of clutter up here, which is really annoying because when I'm like picking out what I'm going to wear, I look at all this clutter. Um, sunscreen. Uh, a, a while ago, Hurley gave me, my, I have a buddy who works for Hurley and he designs their hats and stuff and he gave me a bunch of their stuff. Including, like, every hat he's ever designed. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of cool. But, anyways, I just have, like, a lot of clutter up here. Uh, you can see that originally I tried to keep it pretty minimal. But, um, it's min originally meaning just that. Um, I don't know. When I first moved here, I was like, oh, I can finally buy things for, like, my room. And then I started buying a bunch of nonsense. Um, I usually keep it pretty clean around there. Because that's the heater. And then another problem I have is a trash can. I always fill it up and never, never want to go downstairs and take it out, but it literally takes two seconds. There's an AR-15. Pretty badass. So, like, I think the first step for me to do this is to just straight up clean my room in its entirety. Also, black socks, and you get new socks, because new socks are have those little things that come on them. After you wash them, they don't. I still have that stuff, so that's not cool. Like, you don't know what you could be in my carpet anyway. It's a bunch of allergens or, or dust and stuff. More, more sort of dust. Um, also, my, my closet's kind of a messy on the floor because I have that suitcase, which I fill up every weekend full of stuff. And then when I get back from the weekend, I usually just throw it over there. I sometimes throw it in the, in the, in the closet, though. And that usually stays packed. Um, I usually have, like, I take out the dirty clothes and put them away, and then I take some clean clothes and put them in there. So I always have a suitcase to go. Not like for emergencies, but just for when I wake up in the morning and I don't think about it. I just, I've already done it. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to, I think, get a tripod and then start to film my recreation of my room as far as just keeping it tidy. Because if you're looking for good mental health and physical health, your room better be clean. <laughs> Uh, so basically, uh, some of the, the little things that hold up the mattress were missing, so I uh, had to get in there and open them all up and then put all the boards in individually. And then as soon as I got that done, I had to get out of it, and I couldn't get out of it. So I was, like, stuck. And then I had to, like, get on this side, and all those boards would mess up. So then I got out, fixed them all, and then put the mattress on it. And now I can finally lay on this side of the bed. Because there was this horrible dip forever. And I was sleeping in it, and it was a bad habit. So I eliminated it from my life. Now I just got a vacuum.